Chapter 20 For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that was a householder, who went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a shilling a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour, and saw others standing in the market-place idle. And to them he said, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour, and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing. And he saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard. And when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers, and pay them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a shilling. And when the first came, they supposed that they would receive more, and they likewise received every man a shilling. And when they received it, they murmured against the householder, saying, These last have spent but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he answered and said to one of them, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a shilling? Take up that which is thine, and go thy way. It is my will to give unto this last even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Or is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be first, and the first last. And as Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples apart, and on the way he said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priests and scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him unto the Gentiles to mock, and to scourge, and to crucify, and the third day he shall be raised up. Then came to him the mother of the sons of Zebedee with her sons worshipping him, and asking a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wouldest thou? She saith unto him, Command that these my two sons may sit, one on thy right hand, and one on thy left hand, in thy kingdom. But Jesus answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They say unto him, We are able. He saith unto them, my cup indeed ye shall drink, but to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it is for them for whom it hath been prepared of my father. And when the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation concerning the two brethren. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Ye know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. Not so shall it be among you, but whosoever would become great among you shall be your minister, and whosoever would be first among you shall be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. And as they went out from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside, when they heard that Jesus was passing by, cried out, saying, Lord, have mercy on us, thou son of David. And the multitude rebuked them, that they should hold their peace. 
but they cried out the more saying lord have mercy on us thou son of david and jesus stood still and called them and said what will ye that i should do unto you they say unto him lord that our eyes may be opened and jesus being moved with compassion touched their eyes and straightway they received their sight and followed him end of chapter twenty chapter twenty one and when they drew nigh unto jerusalem and came unto bethphage unto the mount of olives then jesus sent two disciples saying unto them go into the village that is over against you and straightway ye shall find an ass tied and a colt with her loose them and bring them unto me and if any one say aught unto you ye shall say the lord hath need of them and straightway he will send them now this is come to pass that it might be fulfilled which was spoken through the prophet saying tell ye the daughter of zion behold thy king cometh unto thee meek and riding upon an ass and upon a colt the foal of an ass and the disciples went and did even as jesus appointed them and brought the ass and the colt and put on them their garments and he sat thereon and the most part of the multitude spread their garments in the way and others cut branches from the trees and spread them in the way and the multitudes that went before him and that followed cried saying hosanna to the son of david blessed is he that cometh in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest and when he was come into jerusalem all the city was stirred saying who is this and the multitudes said this is the prophet jesus from nazareth of galilee and jesus entered into the temple of god and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seats of them that sold the doves and he saith unto them it is written my house shall be called a house of prayer but ye make it a den of robbers and the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them but when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did and the children that were crying in the temple and saying hosanna to the son of david they were moved with indignation and said unto him hearest thou what these are saying and jesus saith unto them yea did ye never read out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise and he left them and went forth out of the city to bethany and lodged there now in the morning as he returned to the city he hungered and seeing a fig tree by the wayside he came to it and found nothing thereon but leaves only and he saith unto it let there be no fruit from thee henceforward for ever and immediately the fig tree withered away and when the disciples saw it they marvelled saying how did the fig tree immediately wither away and jesus answered and said unto them verily i say unto you if ye have faith and doubt not ye shall not only do what is done to the fig tree but even if ye shall say unto this mountain be thou taken up and cast into the sea it shall be done and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing ye shall receive and when he was come into the temple the chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching and said by what authority doest thou these things 
and who gave thee this authority? And Jesus answered and said unto them, I also will ask you one question, which, if ye tell me, I likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, whence was it? From heaven, or from men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say unto us, Why then did ye not believe him? But if we shall say from men, we fear the multitude, for all hold John as a prophet. And they answered Jesus, and said, We know not. He also said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. But what think ye? A man had two sons, and he came to the first, and said, Son, go work to-day in the vineyard. And he answered and said, I will not but afterward he repented himself and went. And he came to the second, and said likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Which of the two did the will of his father? They say, The first. Jesus saith unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you, for John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not, but the publicans and the harlots believed him. And ye, when ye saw it, did not even repent yourselves afterward, that ye might believe him. Here another parable. There was a man that was a householder, who planted a vineyard, and set a hedge about it, and digged a wine-press in it, and built a tower, and let it out to husbandmen, and went into another country. And when the season of the fruits drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen to receive his fruits. And the husbandmen took his servants, and beat one, and killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them in like manner. But afterward he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But the husbandmen, when they saw the son, said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and take his inheritance. And they took him, and cast him forth out of the vineyard, and killed him. When therefore the Lord of the vineyard shall come, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those miserable men, and will let out the vineyard unto other husbandmen, who shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the Scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected, the same was made the head of the corner. This was from the Lord, and it is marvellous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken away from you, and shall be given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. And he that falleth on this stone shall be broken to pieces but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will scatter him as dust. And when the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they perceived that he spake of them, and when they sought to lay hold on him, they feared the multitudes, because they took him for a prophet. End of chapter 21